Hey guys, it's Flo, aka The Blended Beauty. Thank you so much for stopping by on this video. And as the title says, I am going to be doing a demo of these hair care products. And what I am loving so, so far, and I can't wait to tell you guys. Okay, so Kristen S is actually a celebrity hairstylist and she has all her lines available at Target. And one thing that I like about her lines is that they smell amazing and they are like super high quality, but not for the price. Everything in this line is under $15. So um, I actually wanna start off with the shampoo. That one is $12 and it comes with this little nozzle which is actually really, really good for you just getting to your scalp and really get into those areas where you want to clean out and get the dunk, the gunk and debris out of your hair. Um, I love, 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 love the apple care. I think it's awesome. And I think that this shampoo is perfect because it's not overly stripping. It's not taking out the natural oils in your scalp, but it's actually moisturizing enough to really get to that next step of conditioning for your hair. So if you've been following me, you know that actually I don't start out with that. I actually start out with conditioning. That's my like pre-poo whenever I do my um, hair care regimen. And I got the co-wash and that's what I started out with. And this is really, really nice. Um, if you are not familiar with co-washes, it's a way to clean your hair, but without going directly into a shampoo that might be too drying. Um, a lot of curly girls or guys, um, you know, co-wash like once a week. So midweek, like after day three, and then they go into a traditional shampoo and conditioner. For me, I actually um, only wash my hair once a week. And just for reference, my hair is medium density, thicker at the crown, but overall I have fine strands. Um, and this co-wash is really nice. You do not need a lot of it, um, which is really nice. I, I usually typically um, do four sections whenever I'm detangling my hair in the shower and like, legit only a dollop size of this in each section and I got through my hair and then I proceeded with a shampoo the next product that I want to talk about is the curl repair mask so this is going to have moisture it's going to give you nourishment and softening and define your curls I love the application of this because it's a pump and this has like a moussey texture and I'll show you guys in a second. Um, I did four pumps in each section of my hair and let it sit and do its thing um, and it's super, super nice. I love it. Um, one thing that I did also want to mention about the curl line is that it's free of silicones, phthalates, um, pretty much anything that is going to deter your hair from getting the moisture that it needs because in natural hair and curly hair, it's just naturally drier. So um, when you don't have the silicones and things of that nature in your hair, it's easier for your hair to get penetration and get the nutrients that it needs. So now I'm going to go on to the styling products and this is where you're going to see the demo of me putting it in my hair. So I have the two. This is the curl weave-in and then I also have the curl jelly. The curl weave-in is a spray formula and what I did, I just put it into my hair. Um, actually, I put it into my hands first, kind of um, just distributed it in my hair that way and then I went in with the jelly. And what I like about the jelly is that it's it's more so like a serum as well. Um, it has like that nice slippery feeling to it. So it really, as you can see, defined my curls really nicely and let them just like soak up and really get super shiny and defined. Um, as you see with me demoing my hair, I do a shingling method. Um, that's the method that I have. It's like tried and true for me. I'm never gonna have a, a session if I am doing a shingling method that my hair is not gonna turn out the way that I like. Um, along with my hair being fine, as well as having medium um, density, I do have um, different textures in my hair. And I'll show you guys a clip of it just being more coilier around the front and crown area and looser in my um, lower, I guess, length of my hair. Um, so the shingling method actually helps me kind of manipulate my curls and make them look uniform as opposed to just breaking it through. Um, I've never had a successful rake and like shake or just scrunching of my hair. It just doesn't look right. Um, but what I'm going to do, you know, I'm just going to let this play through and give you some facts about Chris and S, but I'm also going to come back in a couple days to let you guys know what my hair looks like and then my overall thoughts.
Hey guys, so I'm back. So this is day five hair and let's talk about how I feel about the line overall. Now, I do wanna be honest with you guys, this is a restyle. I restyled my hair two days ago um, because of the curl jelly. Now, I wanna say that the curl jelly is great if you're restyling, um, but after day three of having my hair, um, you know, styled in the shingling method, it did get really frizzy and it just didn't have the hold that I needed, um, especially for a shingling style. It just, it got really like, just super super frizzy and soft um and just not as strong in terms of a cast that i needed um and that's the reason why i had to refresh but this is the refresh with the curl jelly um you guys can tell me how it looks so yeah, this will be good for an, a couple more days, but in terms of me and how I like to style my hair, when I do a style, I want it to be one and done for the whole week. So, excuse me, lasting between five to seven days, and this just didn't do that for me. Um, now, I if I'm feeling this way, I don't know how other people who have um, kinkier, curlier textures feel. Now, I think this would probably be bomb for a like twist out or a like braid out because of how like silky and serum it's gonna feel. Um, and it's gonna have like a soft hold if that's the look you're going for. Um, but in terms of definition and having hold that's gonna last all week, this isn't it. Now, maybe someone with, you know, looser curls and wavier hair likes it, but me personally, this just didn't, you know, cut it in terms of lasting all week because that's something that I look for in a styler um but again i love 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 the mask the mask is amazing um i love the co-wash um the leave-in is good but i think for the leave-in i personally would not want it in a spray i would just want it in just like a, a tube that you can just distribute and then with the jelly I personally feel like it's not as good in terms of packaging with the pump. Some people might enjoy that, but for me, because I have a lot of hair, I just kept going back to it and I'd rather have something that I can just kind of scoop out. Um, so that's just me and my personal um, you know, thought process on it. Um, but overall, I think that this line is good. Um, if you're a type of person who just does like three day hair and that's good and you wash your hair like midweek, for me personally, because I do wash my hair once a week and I want my style to last that whole time, um, it's not something that um, I enjoy in terms of the jelly. Everything else is great though. I do I do enjoy it. Um, and I, again, in terms of the packaging for the uh, leave-in, I would just rather have it as a just a, a pump where you could just take the nozzle and just squeeze it out. Um, but don't get me wrong, just because I don't like that specific styler does not mean I, I don't like Kristen S. I love so many of her products. Her reconstructive mask is amazing. Her refresher sprays are amazing. Her other leave-in spray, I can't remember the specific name, is so bomb. Um, her other curl cream from the other line is good. Um, I'm really surprised that she doesn't have a curl cream in this line actually. Um, but I do know that she's actually in production of, I believe, five more products for this curl line. Um, so as a base, I think these are good. I really recommend the curl, ugh, the co-wash and the hair mask and the shampoo. Um, the jelly, I believe it's going to be better for people with looser hair in terms of curl and wave. Um, and if you like your styles to only last between three to five days, that's just my opinion. Um, but yeah, that's my thoughts on this line. Um, now I actually, if you follow me on Instagram, I might update you guys. I might want to try this plopping. I do enjoy plopping. A lot of people actually don't do that. Um, but I do like how my styles turn out when I do that. And with plopping, I, I typically only get two to three days. So I might try the jelly with that. And I did not try this with my hair diffuse because I typically don't diffuse my hair. So I didn't want to mention that. But yeah, that's the end of this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you guys try out Chris and S for yourself. Let me know in the comments if you've tried anything already or if you will. And follow me on Instagram at The Blended Beauty. All right, guys, have a good one. Bye.